Paleobiology, UK and Canadian English, paleobiology is a growing and comparatively new discipline which combines the methods and findings of the life science biology with the methods and findings of the earth science paleontology. It is occasionally referred to as geobiology. Paleobiological research uses biological field research of current biota and of fossils millions of years old to answer questions about the molecular evolution and the evolutionary history of life. In this scientific quest, macrofossils, microfossils and trace fossils are typically analyzed. However, the 21st century biochemical analysis of DNA and RNA samples offers much promise, as does the biometric construction of phylogenetic trees. An investigator in this field is known as a paleobiologist. Topic: <laughs> Important research areas. Paleobotany applies the principles and methods of paleobiology to flora, especially green land plants, but also including the fungi and seaweeds algae. See also mycology, phycology and dendrochronology. Paleozoology uses the methods and principles of paleobiology to understand fauna, both vertebrates and invertebrates. See also vertebrate and invertebrate paleontology, as well as paleoanthropology. Micropaleontology applies paleobiologic principles and methods to archaea, bacteria, protists and microscopic pollen, spores. See also microfossils and palynology. Paleovirology examines the evolutionary history of viruses on paleobiological timescales. Paleobiochemistry uses the methods and principles of organic chemistry to detect and analyze molecular level evidence of ancient life, both microscopic and macroscopic. Paleoecology examines past ecosystems, climates, and geographies so as to better comprehend prehistoric life. Taphonomy analyzes the post-mortem history for example, decay and decomposition of an individual organism in order to gain insight on the behavior, death and environment of the fossilized organism. Paleoecnology analyzes the tracks, borings, trails, burrows, impressions, and other trace fossils left by ancient organisms in order to gain insight into their behavior and ecology. Stratigraphic paleobiology studies long-term secular changes, as well as the short-term bed-by-bed sequence of changes, in organismal characteristics and behaviors. See also stratification, sedimentary rocks and the geologic time scale. Evolutionary developmental paleobiology examines the evolutionary aspects of the modes and trajectories of growth and development in the evolution of life, clades both extinct and extant. See also adaptive radiation, cladistics, evolutionary biology, developmental biology and phylogenetic tree. Paleobiologists The founder or «father» of modern paleobiology was Baron Franz Nopcsa a Hungarian scientist trained at the University of Vienna. He initially termed the discipline «paleophysiology». However, credit for coining the word paleobiology itself should go to Professor Charles Schuchert. He proposed the term in 1904 so as to initiate a broad new science, joining traditional paleontology with the evidence and insights of geology and isotopic chemistry. On the other hand, Charles Doolittle Walcott, a Smithsonian adventurer, has been cited as the founder of Precambrian paleobiology, 
Although best known as the discoverer of the mid-Cambrian Burgess shale animal fossils, in 1883 this American curator found the first Precambrian fossil cells known to science, a stromatolite reef then known as cryptozoan algae. In 1899 he discovered the first acritarch fossil cells, a Precambrian algal phytoplankton he named Chuaria. Lastly, in 1914, Walcott reported, "...minute cells and chains of cell-like bodies," belonging to Precambrian purple bacteria. Later 20th-century paleobiologists have also figured prominently in finding Archean and Proterozoic Eon microfossils. In 1954, Stanley A. Tyler and Elso S. Bargorn described 2.1 billion year old cyanobacteria and fungi like microflora at their Gunflint Chert fossil site. Eleven years later, Bargorn and J. William Schoff reported finely preserved Precambrian microflora at the Bitter Springs site of the Amadeus Basin, Central Australia. Finally, in 1993, Schoff discovered O2 producing blue green bacteria at his 3.5 billion year old Apex Chert site in Pilbara Craton, Marble Bar, in the northwestern part of Western Australia. So paleobiologists were at last homing in on the origins of the Precambrian oxygen catastrophe. Topic: <laughs> Paleobiologic journals. Acta Paleontologica Polonica. Biology and Geology. Historical Biology. Paleos Paleogeography, Paleoclimatology, Paleoecology Paleobiology journal, Paleoceanography Footnotes See also History of biology History of paleontology History of invertebrate paleozoology Molecular paleontology Taxonomy of commonly fossilized invertebrates Treatise on invertebrate paleontology